Food is huge and in pain, most people don't realize that what they eat influences their pain. Uh, there are certain foods, for example, that increase inflammation in your body. There are other foods that decrease inflammation. If you have a high level of infl inflammation in your body, uh, your body, your brain, especially for those that are in chronic pain, will interpret that as injury. It'll interpret it as a problem and it'll exacerbate the chronic pain. So one of the things I do with all my patients is I talk about how can we reduce your overall inflammatory burden? How can we lower inflammation? Uh, eating anti-inflammatory foods like what you see in the Mediterranean diet with high spices, lots of fruits and vegetables, uh, lowering, lowering the things that uh, increase your blood sugar and your insulin level, which all aggravate inflammation, uh, can improve uh, not only the inflammation but also the pain. So another myth that we have is that genetics controls your life. This is not true. Actually, the environment controls your genetics. About 2% of illnesses are actually specifically tied to a specific gene that you can't really do anything about. Something like sickle cell disease, for example, or uh, muscular dystrophy, or something like that. But 98% of illnesses, especially chronic illnesses, are multifactorial. Genes do influence them, but then our environment, uh, our environment actually and our behavior, then modifies the effect of those genes. So even if you've been dealt with you know, bad genes, you can still modify things to modulate that and mitigate the effect, either diminishing it or enhancing it significantly. It does. Uh, uh, health comes from you. <laughs> it comes from your own inherent healing capacity. You wouldn't be any alive if your body wasn't continually repairing itself, uh, recovering for traumas and stresses, uh, reintegrating itself. Uh, it's a natural process, and if we can enhance that, then that is where most of health and well-being come from. Uh, medical treatment is a supportive thing. If you end up getting a disease that you have to have treated in that, it's important for doing that, but if you want to produce health, uh, then that comes from your own inherent healing capacity, uh, which is a different journey for everybody, but there's some core common components uh, that have to do with sleep, uh, rest, stress management, food, movement, and the social and spiritual environment that you're in.